14, Luca Brissell to break. Now I wonder how he steadied the ship, so to speak, winning that frame before the mid-session interval, Luca. It's obviously a, a cliche we talk about at this Quietly stage of the match, now, please. About every frame being important when you get to the business end of a match, but you feel this frame, if Dave, if it doesn't win it, his race is run. <laughs> his opposite hand look up again. Dave went for the long what? red, missed it by a way, and didn't leave anything easy for his opponent. Got a decision here, Luca. I feel he's got to stay in the attack. It's his natural game. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. When he won this title last year, there's no hesitation. He'd have played the brown to this right corner. Now he's just giving it that extra little bit of thought. But as Stephen says, his natural rhythm, the natural way he plays. He's an instinctive player. Oh, he's dropped it in. Now, does the black go to the right corner? If it does, easy Three. positional shot. We'll soon know the way he plays this red. It must do. He's played for the black. Four. <laughs> it was one of those, Steve, wasn't it? Anything but straight. He's come straight. Yeah, I'd like to have a little angle just to nudge those two reds that are below the black. Get them away from there, get the black open to both corners. And that was an excellent yellow he potted to the left middle. As I say, that winning that frame before the interval 11. and then just getting that 15, 20 minutes in there just to calm down, regain focus, regain composure. 12. There's very little of the pocket sticking out for Luca there and playing it nicely. He's a little bit of fortune and he's got it, he's perfect. Yeah, good solid strike that. 18. And it couldn't have worked out better. 19. Great chance this. And now a chance to just disturb those two reds just below and to the left of the black. He's got to do it. He'll make the black available into both corners. There's a little bit of risk attached, but not much. Not much, really. That's fine. And I think 26. the black is still unavailable to the right, the left corner. Got the red to the right corner, that's comfortable enough. But if the black doesn't go into the opposite pocket, bit of work to do with the cue ball. Twenty seven. Okay, now it's all about avoiding any contact with the bolt colours with the cue ball here. Yeah, just looking at that black, it just won't go. Mm, he didn't avoid the kiss on the bolt colour. He's got a pot on, but... 32. Risky. 
again, it's a case of just not having control of that cue ball. When he first potted that good yellow, got nice in the black. The reds are in a good position, but he's just not been able to control that cue ball. Lucas turn to Luka get a Brissell, big bit of fortune. See a little bit of tip tapping at this end of the table, particularly with four reds now in the other half. So, no safety shot in the ball end. Only safe place for the cue ball is near this top cushion. Slight advantage, you would think, Dave Gilbert. as it is for every session. It looked like the red came back and nestled on the cue ball, but if it was touching, Paul Collier would have declared it. Foul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's putting it back. There'll be no uh, way there'll be a re-rack here. Not with Luca Brussel having a 28-point lead. Dave Gilbert's going to have to force a mistake. As I say, as long as he can leave that cue ball near the top cushion, He's got a slight advantage in this safety exchange. Well, I'm digging in. This could go wrong. Well, he's left a red, two reds, in actual fact, to the right centre pocket. Pressure on them, no doubt. But a chance. Cracking shot. Well, he's got the frame at his mercy. Six.
seven. Thirteen. Twenty. Well, I think as long as the right hand read of the two goals, he can control the cue ball. It does. Twenty-one. Let's have a look at the old scoreboard. He's two points behind now. 26. Can't see him playing blacks off all these reds, so he's going to need the reds. Maybe the one along the box, box cushion, he'll just need to roll that in. He won't need a colour with it. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Off this red, if he plays the red to left middle, I'm just wondering if he leaves the cue ball where the red is. For the pink, can play the cannon on the red. It's tight in the cushion. As long as he doesn't get it, ha get a full ball. It's got to be the shot to play. You don't want to be playing that red along the cushion. Forty-five. No, he's not playing. Cannon from the pink. I thought he might have taken the risk. So he's going to leave that red on the cushion to last. Oh, was that a kick? Heavy contact. Dave Gilbert, 48. It must have been. Can't miss an easy shot like that. Although, having said that, Steve. Seen some balls missed at the crucible you never seen missed anywhere else, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Bad contact. Oh. So now the roles are reversed. It's Luca that needs that awkward <coughs> red. I think there's any value in not playing for the pink off this red. So the pink's adjacent to the red along the ball cushion. Absolutely, absolutely. Then you don't have to hit the red as hard. I'd be screwing the cue ball back for greener brown here to the right corner. What? I think he's just completely missed at <coughs> that. He's kind of nowhere with the cue ball, really. Sure, if he can avoid the green in pot and the brown in order to take the side cushion and get on the red. And he 
Ben had to force <coughs> a little bit of angle. <coughs> so he's kept that pink there, but this wow. red is not easy at all. He's still got to force it a little bit to get the cue ball out. Well, I'm sorry you can't hit it that hard. Yourself five. Along the cushion at that pace, the odds of it going in slim. I think it was a, think it was a ridiculous pace to play it at, wasn't it? Didn't need to hit it anywhere near that hard to get on the pink. Yeah, it's very edgy out there. That's when you think Luca looks to be back in control. He throws in a loose one. And Dave, unfortunately, can't or isn't taking these half chances. Another poor safety. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is an easy pot, but you, you get down thinking positive. If I knock it in, it's a frame winner. So here we go. Good shot. Dave Gilbert in a bit of trouble now. Don't know there's an edge of this red, probably not. So it's the old hit and hope. Can you get it safe? Can you get it safe? <laughs> safe enough. Excellent land for the cue ball, but he has left a possible pot on. If it's potted, will be respotted. Right in the heart of the pocket. Is it running round? It's perfect. Good shot. Three. breaks of this morning's session have dried up tonight it's been every frame has been well, just littered with mistakes very scrappy Twelve. But Dave Gilbert somehow is hanging on in there you'd have to say not really by his own great play but Luca is just Seven struggling three. to put this match away Yeah, as you so rightly said a few frames ago, you know, when you're making a comeback, you need yeah, a little bit of help. You may have it well at the moment. Dave Gilbert's getting lots of help. He still trails, but uh, he's hanging on in there. 8-6, Luca Brasseau. 